At McGuire Air Force Base, the weapon of choice to defend against bird strikes has feathers, razor-sharp talons, and dive bombs more than 200 miles an hour. He's a predator. He's near the top of the food chain and almost all other birds are below him in the food chain, so they food. Falconer Andrew Barnes uses nine-year-old Nantucket to keep problem birds clear from airbase runways. Nantucket is one of 10 falcons used here. One is released every hour to patrol the area. When the Falcon program started here at McGuire Air Force Base, bird strikes dropped 80% the first year, and the number has remained that low for more than a decade. Airports across the country are thinking about the best ways to get rid of birds. At New York's LaGuardia Airport, that's meant cutting grass and shrubs. We have a 365 days a year, 24 hour program to manage wildlife. But airfield managers need to know what type of birds are hitting their planes in order to make their airports an unattractive habitat. Bird identification help comes from nearly 200 miles away at the Smithsonian Institute. For researcher Carla Dove, this is the black box of a bird strike investigation. We're trying to prevent this damage, but we also are trying to save birds. CBS News was given exclusive access to the Feather Identification Lab, which analyzes the dozens of packages it receives daily, containing clues like feathers, claws, and other tiny bird remnants known as snarge. Dove and her team eagle-eyed samples from 4,600 bird strikes last year, checking out everything from feather structure to DNA. It's a case of red-tailed hawks. This is a very common bird involved in bird strikes. With the help of the Smithsonian's collection of 62,000 stuffed bird specimens, they can successfully ID a bird 98% of the time. The size is right, the color is right. For example, it's a bird that likes to nest on flat areas with, with low growing grass, if you just let the grass grow, sometimes that will discourage those species from coming into the airfield and nesting. It's simple, but it's a complicated process. There's no silver bullet to prevent bird strikes. But at McGuire Air Force Base, the closest thing to a silver bullet is taking flight. You fly a Falcon and you see those thousand birds leave the airfield and that crew is safely on the ground. It's extremely gratifying. And is potentially saving lives. Bianca Solorzano, CBS News, McGuire Air Force Base, New Jersey.